What settings should a high handicap golfer have their driver in? Let's do it. Let's do it now. And they're a little bit, um, Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first of all, I'd like to warmly welcome you to the channel. I'd also like to welcome back Mr. Fox to the channel. How are we? We're good, thank you, how are you? What does the fox say? Says. So today, we are looking at your driver. Because yes. we did get fitted for a driver, but Mike said, obviously, once you've had a few lessons, once you've been kind of playing a lot more, and you are playing a bit more now. Played yeah. 18 holes yesterday and it was good. Yeah. We were going to have another look at this and just kind of move some settings along. So it's kind of, what settings is it at the moment? Is it bog standard pretty much? Looking at that, so the weights are fairly central. They're not in draw, they're not in fade, they're not in high spin, they're not in low spin. And loft wise, we're talking at nine degrees, but set a tiny bit higher. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be interesting to see what maybe we tweak on there and what we change. We've had a good warm up, yep. so you're nice and loose. We're going to play after this as well because it's obviously more important how it goes on the course than it is in here. But talk to me about your driving so far. So would the bad shot generally be left? Would it be right? Would it be high? Would it be low? Uh, on average, it's probably right, my bad shot. Yeah. Few tops, few bottoms, but generally if it's a bad, it's, it's, it's right. And it's yeah. far right. It's far right. Yeah. Trajectory, anything that worried you? Uh, trajectory wise, no, not a minute. It's just when it does, it just to yeah, the, uh, to the right. So what we're going to do, mate, we're going to hit half a dozen shots, just with it as it is, so nice and standard. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to have a look at maybe what we could tweak. Now, obviously, with this, we're not thinking that it's going to completely redesign his game. It's not going to get rid of the right shot totally. But what if it can help? Because we have said that you are a beginner golfer, but we've been playing quite a lot. We've got the U-Swing app. It's got you down as now a high, high handicap golfer, yep. sort of, kind of. And obviously lessons are going to be more beneficial than playing around with a driver. Yeah. Definitely. But we have got a few lessons coming up as well. But we're just going to see if it can help. So let's hit six shots, mate. We've got it set all at standard like we said. Yeah. And just see where we go. So it's whatever you do on the golf course. Nice strike. A little bit left. That's always the case. When people come for a driver fitting or to change them, where does it go right? First one left. Never mind it. Nope. Is that the one? Is that the one? Yeah. Four right. Split those two, mate. Not bad. Similar. Not bad though. You kind of, you're probably taking that on a golf course, that one, aren't yeah, you? That's. I'll take that one on a golf course. That's down be, the fairway. I'm say it might be a different fairway. But... Yeah. That was nice, mate. That's the one that keeps you coming back, isn't it? Yep. Let's go one more. So it shows that we're capable. It shows that we can get a bit of distance pitching it over 200, which is good. Good effort. Now, so if we're looking at these shots now, we've got six on there and they're a little bit... Um, they're a little bit all over, so there's obviously a few things we're going to work on technique-wise, but that's not necessarily for this video. So how can we get... So looking at these shots, you tell me that generally on the golf course, the bad shot would be right. But yeah, far we, right with them. Which is like those ones there, pretty much. We've got three of the, the ones you explained, haven't we? Yeah. The other three are okay, they're a little bit low left, but they're going to be in play apart from one of them. So I'll tell you what we'll do. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at the driver now and we're going to say, right, so we've got a draw setting here, D1, D2, D3, and fade on this side, so F1, F2, F3. Yep. I'm going to move the fade one just into F1, so it slides up this way, and that should have a little bit more of a draw setting there. The draw's already in the kind of furthest one back, as it were, yeah. and I'm actually going to change the face angle a little bit to be a tiny bit more upright, because you do have a tendency of leaving the face just a tiny bit open. The club path isn't too bad. We see there a club path down at 2.4. That's, it's not great, it's not ideal, but it's not bad. So if I put this upright here, it's still the standard loft, so 
You could argue we've taken a tiny bit of loft off it there, but I'm not really too worried about that to be fair because you deliver it a little bit inconsistently. So like some of them are high, some of them are low. But now you'll notice if you do put that down, it sits a little bit. We might need to change the grip because obviously we've, we've changed the shaft around a little bit, but it sits a little bit more upright. So the toe's a little bit up more up in the air. Right. So from there, put that down at the golf ball now and see how that feels. Other adjustment keys are available as well. That was the only one we found. Yeah, you can definitely, it definitely feels like obviously it's, it's kicked back towards me a little bit. Yeah, so all we're trying to do there is fight the right shot. So if you put the swing on it that goes left, unfortunately that's still going to go left. Yeah. But it should just give you a little bit more in the way of the, the kind of right hand side of the fairway. I think that's the one that you worry about, isn't it? Yeah. And I'd almost say that that's why the left one comes in as well, because you're worried about the right shot. Okay? Yeah. So let's have a go. Let's hit six more. It always feels like, obviously, you can see the club face is obviously point back away. Do I need to square it or do I need to... Square it, mate, yeah. Square, square it, it up. So, they... so I find that it's easier to hover it when we've, when we've done something like this. The grip probably feels a bit awkward, does it? But... Nice. Now that was a similar strike, wasn't it? It's set off straighter. It's still got the fade on it. Yeah. But I mean, I'm taking that all day. And I'm, I'm by no means saying that... I, I, I am saying that was a better golf swing than any of the other ones. Yeah. But I do think the settings help. Let's go some more. So again, face was open there. It's set off a little bit straighter. Yeah. Still gone right. Still probably in the rough. But if we look at... If we look at comparing that to the other shots, I mean, it's, 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 way, it's just better, isn't it? It's way better. It's obviously a little bit lower. But I don't think that's going to, oh, nearly. I don't think that's going to hurt you particularly being a little bit lower. No, as long as it's still in fairway, still in play, I think that's, that's it again. And I, can't, I mean, I can't stress this enough for the guys watching at home as well. This isn't a quick fix. This isn't instead of a lesson. This is as well as lessons. We are working on it. We are, we had a few lessons in, uh, Aphrodite, didn't we? Yeah. And and that works really well. Obviously, you've yeah. been back at work since then, and we're kind of up and going again now. But this is definitely as well as lessons. It's not instead. It made a huge. I mean, for me, that I, I don't know if it's giving you more confidence. Me kind of explaining the mumbo jumbo to you, mm. but it's, it's a huge difference, isn't it? Yeah. Does it look, I bet mean, it feels like a different driver down at the ball. Look at it, it does it. it oh, I, I, if we can get this on camera so people can see, it kind of, it makes the toe sit up in the air, doesn't it? Probably easier from this angle, actually. That toe is way up in the air. So that now means that the loft sort of then points to the left a little bit there. So it's pointing this way instead of when it's nice and neutral, obviously the loft points straight forward. Yeah. And that's as basic as I can get that lesson really with just a hand. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you how we can give that lesson. So if we put, put the driver down. And if I put a T-peg, right, so if you put a T-peg on that face now, in the middle, good. We can see that that T-peg is pointing straight forward, yeah? Straight yeah. towards the, if we move this angle up, where's that T-peg now pointing? Coming, coming across to the left, isn't Coming it? to the left. If we move it this way, where's that T-peg now pointing? That's going upwards now isn't and it? And all we're doing is moving the lie angle yeah. which we've been able to do with the adjustment yeah. to make the face point differently by using the loft. Clever isn't it? Yeah. Let's hit a couple more mate. I'm pleased with this though. Science or physics or geometry. Any of the above. Chemistry? No. Mathematics. <laughs> Never was good at science. Still tailing off a bit but good effort mate. I'm not going to put you in any trouble, that is it? No. Very consistent, and um, I, I hate saying aim aim up the left-hand side or aim up up a, away from a fairway, but to be fair, if we look at that as a dispersion, it's actually quite close together. Yes, they're all a little bit right, but at least you kind of know a little bit more. Yeah. And it's taken away the... I think it's taken away the nervousness where you actually wrap the hands over and hit it left. Yeah. So we can almost eradicate the left side mm -hmm. by making it a more left-side dominant head, which is strange, but... There we are. Nice one, mate. Thanks for that. <laughs> I 
Yeah, uh, sure, mate. Didn't sound amazing, but it's it's out there, isn't it? Yeah. So if we now look at the different dispersions, this is after we've had a bit of a play around with it, and that's before. And I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that it's all down to the changing driver because it's obviously not. But looking at those, mate, it is a big difference, isn't it? Yeah. And I think, and I think to be fair, it's more. It's more giving you the confidence to think, well, I, generally I shouldn't really do that far right, so I don't need to wrap the hands over and, and get it going left. Yeah, we had one that went left over your shoulder there, but one out of six isn't necessarily too bad. No. What about the numbers? How has it changed? So numbers-wise, which I wasn't too worried about anyway, because they're all down to strike, but generally we had an average of 177, which is nowhere near what it's capable of, but it's just how you're swinging today, with a spin of 4455. And then after... After the shot, we had a little bit more consistency because we're hitting it a bit straighter. So 195 total, which is a little bit more up there. Again, nowhere near what you're capable of. Spinning a little bit lower at 4,000. So we're actually... They made the numbers a little bit better as well as the dispersion, which is, which is always better. Like we said, that's nowhere near what you're capable of. No. You can get a 250, 260 quite easily, can't you? Yeah. But this game's all about how bad you're bad. And that's one thing we keep saying over and over and over in this series, isn't it? So... Ah, you've done well there, mate. So we'll look at this, the, the kind of setup of it now compared to where it was. It was quite a simple fix for me, really. We just wanted to get it kind of more draw bias and we wanted to get maybe a little bit more upright, which is what we've done there. So we'll go out and play now, mate, and see how it goes, because that's yeah. all that matters, really, isn't it? Yeah, go and try it on golf course now, see how we, go, how we fare on with it. Absolutely. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. We do hope you've really enjoyed that. If you have and you are new here, please make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button. Leave us a like if you enjoyed that content. Unfortunately, the beginner's race to Dubai is postponed a little bit. Yeah. Obviously, because what's going on around the world at the moment. So we are going to actually try and do the 100 challenge a little bit more locally. So if you've got any ideas on that, hit those comments below. Let us know where maybe you think we could do it. Um, apart from that, guys, look after yourselves. We hope you're enjoying the content because there's not a lot to watch at the moment, is there? So, we'll see you tomorrow.